All right, so let's take a few seconds just to walk through um, what like the syllabus side of summer school would be. So first off, um, when you come to summer school, some of you guys are taking this for ELA 1, some of you guys are taking this for ELA 2. Um, but we're going to be covering just like general success in ELA. Because if you can do ELA 2 stuff, then ELA 1 is not going to be a problem. If you can do ELA in general, it doesn't really matter. So we're not going to differentiate and say like, okay, ELA 1 kids are going to do this, ELA 2 kids are going to do that. Uh, we're all going to be working together because the same general expectations are there regardless of what you're taking. You're going to have to learn to read, write, and public speak. Okay, That is the essence of ELA. And most of you are in this class not because you can't do ELA, um, but because you just haven't done ELA, either because you've gotten behind in credits or you just didn't turn stuff in. Like nine times out of ten, that's why you're here. Um, so we're just going to work on actually like getting these things done, learning this material, moving on. 19 days from now, you will be finished with an ELA credit. Okay. Um, the other thing is we're preparing for EOC or final. None of you in this class are taking the EOC this summer. Uh, the state's not doing that this time. So um, for this particular course, you won't be doing that. Um, but after 2018, then summer school will be covering the EOC again. So either way, though, we're still like driving towards getting you ready for this so that when you take it next year, which for most of you is going to be in the fall anyway, um, you'll be ready for it. Okay? Uh, as far as layout goes, uh, you're going to need a few things. So writing utensils, um, I might have them in this room, but I will not be able to give you one. Okay, I want you to be responsible. You bring your own writing utensil. Um, notebook, we will be journaling every single day in this class. Okay, so every day when you come in, uh, we will start off by doing a writing prompt, and that's very intentional. I'm going to talk about that in a second. Um, but you're going to need paper for this. Nothing like massive, so I, I'll be journaling with you. And so when I journal, like my journal looks like this. Like it's just a small little thing. Um, anything like that, if you just have like scrap paper, but you want to do it on, that's fine. But you have to have paper. You have to be able to keep track of that throughout all of summer school. Folder. Um, I will have folders actually in here for you guys. But if you want one that's not like super nasty looking, because the ones that I have, I've been using forever, uh, bring your own folder. Otherwise, I've got like some small ones I'll be using for that. And then you actually have to be here. Not only is that part of summer school policy, but you will not pass if you are not here. Now, uh, I'm sure this was probably gone over with you when we looked at the contracts, but just to review, if you miss more than two days in summer school, uh, you're out, right? Like you're kicked out for good. So it doesn't matter like if you either like you, you miss two days and you come back the next day, then you're fine. But if you're even tardy that next day, you're out and all of your tardies go towards that too. So if you like are tardy for school, like every single day, and that adds up to be six hours, which would be the equivalent of two days in this class, then you're kicked out as well. So you really do legitimately have to be here because this is a privilege. If it's a chance to get this done in 19 days, if you don't take advantage of that, the school is not going to be okay with you just staying in this room. Okay, so kind of keep that stuff in mind. All right, I already walked through this. Hour one is going to be um, our general skill work stuff. So we'll do some kind of skill work lesson after our writing prompt. Um, then we'll put that into practice with our vocab. And then as long as everybody does what they're supposed to do, at the end of that, we'll take a 10 to 15 minute break. Okay, but we won't go on break until everybody is done. And if everybody doesn't get done, then we just won't go on break, okay? So we only have so much time to work with. That second hour, uh, we're gonna be doing the reading section. Um, so you come back in today, we're gonna look at uh, some figurative language stuff. So we'll do some kind of like reading skill lesson. And then during this section, actually we're gonna do a lot of reading in summer school. So like I said, there's books over there on uh, the middle of the room where you're gonna actually pick one of those today. And every day we're going to actually work on reading those books and talking about those books because um, a main way to become a better reader is to actually read. And so we're going to we're going to do that together this summer. Uh, we'll have some fiction, nonfiction readings. You guys are going to do a little reading log. I know it says blog up there, but I've changed that a little bit. And we're going to share about our books. Do all that. We'll take our next 10 to 15 minute break. And then we come back for the last little hour that we have, which will always be shorter than anything else that we do because like, time always is going to fly by faster than you think. The last section is always going to be the writing stuff. So for the first couple of weeks, um, we're going to be working on like talking about the writing process, doing some practice with the writing process. Um, and then uh, toward the end of summer school, you actually write an essay um, that will be a formal essay based on the stuff that you've been reading. OK, so it all kind of like flies in together because you're also going to use the skills that we work on in the first half to then write the essay that's about the stuff that you have been in the second half. Okay, if any of that made sense. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, so then as far as assessments go, we got to keep this in mind. This is summer school. There is no such thing as late work. Okay, late work will not exist. So what we do in class, you get points for on that day. And a lot of it is just participation. So every day, for example, you're going to write your bell ringer, okay? And at the end of class, we are going to then read those out loud. For every day that you do the writing, you get a point for doing the writing. But if you're not writing for that whole 15 minutes, it doesn't count, okay? You don't get a point. There's not like, hey, can I make that up later? No, like it's now or it's never. Like more, one of the main things we've got to learn in summer school is responsibility, right? You be responsible, you get the points. You're not responsible, you don't get the points. As far as the bell ringer shares go, you do get one exemption per week. And that is designed for if you write something on that time, um, or in that time rather, if it's like super personal, you don't want to share that, I will give you one exemption per week. It cannot be the first day of school though. Like today, nobody gets an exemption, right? So don't write about anything super personal. Uh, however, those those skips that you get, like you only get one per week. And if you use two per week, then it's a zero. And those zeros will never be made up, okay? So this is worth 13 points, okay, across the semester. So if you take keep taking skips and you get zeros in those holes, uh, once we're done with our slip 13, those are zeros forever, okay? So your best bet is just never to skip, and then you're going to be fine. Uh, same thing, daily skill work. You do it, you get a point for that day. You don't do it. Um, or you don't do it at the level that you're supposed to be doing it, like you just move off or whatever, you don't get those points. Daily writing, we talked about the reading logs, same thing. If you're not actually reading, you don't get those points. You don't fill that out, you don't get those points. Um, then you, the big things will go in the grade book. All of this is like basically participation. This makes up a big chunk of your grade. Uh, the rest is writing this essay, 40 points for that. Doing the vocab quiz, which is going to be two of those, that's 20 points for that because each one of those quizzes is worth 10 points. And then your finals were 100 points, which the way the grade book will be set up is everybody starts with zero, okay? And every day as you do stuff, I'll be adding points in there, okay? So nobody will be passing until you've gained at least 62 points, which I'll tell you right now, nobody's going to be able to do until after we finish this final, okay? The best that you could be in is like a little bit of a D, maybe, if you did everything. But if you really want to pass this, you've got to actually do the final. If you don't do the final, um, there's no way you can pass this class. And that's intentional as well, right? Um, all of this is about building towards being successful. Um, you're not successful until we're done, right? So keep that in mind. That's how all that stuff works. Um, that's there for you guys. It's on the syllabus I'll hand out tomorrow if you want one, but that's how um, all of the assessment points work. General rules, typically if I was there, we'd go through this, we'd talk about it, we have, we'll have fun with it, but I'm just gonna go through it really quickly. Number one, be nice to everybody in this room. Number two, be nice to everybody outside this room. Both of these have to do with drama. There's no drama in summer school. We don't have time for that, right? And also, if anybody gets written up, it's just like being gone, you're immediately kicked out. So we are gonna be interacting as much as we can in this. Uh, I'm gonna have you guys talking to each other. We're gonna be working with each other and we're gonna have fun as much as we can, but that won't happen if this doesn't happen, right? Um, so be nice to each other, no cell phones. Uh, we don't have time for that as well. So just keep those put away. Um, if we need technology, we'll be on the Chromebook, but cell phones uh, just won't work in summer school. We don't have we don't have time for you not to be 100 percent engaged all the time. Um, if we leave straight line, quiet rule, I'll tell you guys about that when I get back. Um, plagiarism. If you take something that's your, not yours and you claim that it is the only time that's even possible in this class is on the essay. And I'm going to tell you that essay is so big that if you plagiarize that thing, you will fail. And there's no rewrites. There's no redos. This is summer school. You do it and it's done. Right. So. Um, don't waste your time. Don't, don't waste your time with that. We're going to turn it in through turnitin.com. It will catch you. Uh, you will fail. So you don't want to be here and waste like 17 days of your summer. And then two days before we're getting ready to get out, find out that you're going to not going to pass anyway. You just wasted your time. So just don't steal stuff. Uh, don't leave at the end of the day until I dismiss you um, for the afternoon classes. Remember, like we don't get out until 315. So it's a little bit different schedule um, for the morning classes. We dismiss to lunch. Okay. Uh, so don't leave it until I say it's okay. And when I say it, I'll say the same thing every day for the rest of your life. Have a great day. Make wise decisions. When I say that, you guys are good to go. Um, also, number eight, huge, huge deal to me. It's going to be summer, which means it's going to be hot. This room might even get hot sometimes, but you have to wear clothes, okay? Um, we can't have you guys running around without clothes on. Dress code violations, not okay. Okay, Dress code is very near and dear to my heart. In fact, if I had a breakdown my value system, I would say something like this, God, my family, the dress code, 
All right. Uh, and it's something I take seriously. I mean, as a parent, it's one of the first skills that I'm supposed to teach my kids is that you can't go outside without any clothes on. Right. And they buy into it eventually. But I mean, left to their own devices, um, kids would. They just like run the streets. Like if I open my door after bath time, they would just run down the streets of Bonterre. And if you saw that, you would call the police on me, right? Because it's my responsibility to make sure that my kids are wearing clothes. But if you is doing that, then someone sees it and they're going to call the police on you because you're almost an adult, right? And for some reason, there's something weird that happens. Like if my kids got themselves dressed every day, my little girls would put on like five princess dresses and two raincoats and they would be the happiest people in the entire world, right? Uh, but then like once you get to middle school, it's like you wake up one day and you're like, pants you just like walk out the door you, you get to high school you're like shirts what? You, just, you just walk out the door and so then we have to be people us as teachers that come up to you and say you know i know you're you're almost old enough to vote but you didn't put clothes on today right and that's that's weird for me it's weird for you we're just not gonna do that so please wear clothes all right i don't i don't want someone written up in summer school just because they forgot to get dressed in the morning all right uh, so as far as the specifics then, so today, here in just a second, uh, you are going to do a vocab activity, okay? Uh, you're also going to do a usage key activity. You're going to be taught about the four sentence types, something I know that you've heard before, but we're going to put that in the practice. So you talk about that. We'll do some vocab where you're going to look at like five different words in an idiom, you fill that in, kind of learn those words, and then you're going to take those words and apply the usage key from that day using those words. So today... The usage key is sentence type. So then you're going to take those four sentence types. You're going to write four sentences, one simple, one compound, one complex, one compound complex, using at least four of your vocab words. And we'll do that every single day. Okay. And once everybody's done that, that's when you will be el finito. Okay. Uh, so that's the general layout. I think the only other thing I have for you is what you're going to do at the very beginning now. Okay. So summer school, the layout has been explained. If you have any questions, pause this video. Um, and Miss Herbert can answer anything that she's able to answer, anything she's not, just ask me tomorrow. Um, but every day when you come in, I will have some kind of writing prompt up here. Usually, it's actually pretty long, like here's tomorrow. Okay, so you're going to have different options that you can do. So you have like short story, free write, poem, and then like two creative prompts. For today, though, since this is the first day, uh, your prompt is pretty straightforward. Okay, you are in summer school. I want this to be a reflection. Okay, this is what you're sharing out at the end. So make sure you don't put anything that you're not okay with uh, reading out loud. But I want you to write for 15 minutes. Okay, uh, five, 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 15 minutes. Don't stop. Okay, even if you think that you're you're done. Like the whole point of doing this writing prompt is to get you used to writing. Okay, the hardest thing about writing is actually doing it. Like so often people will come to me and say, I just don't know what to say, or I, I sit there and I don't I don't type anything or I don't write anything, so I never get the assignments done. Like it's good practice just to get yourself used to putting words on a page. Okay, so don't worry about not making sense. Don't worry about it sounding super random. Just go with the prompt and just keep on going. Okay, so for today we're gonna reflect. Okay, you're in summer school. Think about it. Okay, what is it that got you here? What is your game plan? What are your expectations? What are your frustrations? What do you think about? Like what makes you worried about summer school? What makes you excited about summer school? If anything like that exists, what? Is it that you are feeling right now about being in summer school? What led to this? How are you going to knock it out? What is going to be the result of having been in this class? Okay. So that's your writing prompts. You've got 15 minutes to do that. At the end of that, Ms. Herbert is going to walk you through um, some lovely sentence types. Then you're going to do some vocab. And from that point on, you should be good to go. So um, good to virtually meet you guys. I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a great day. Make wise decisions.